Hey guys, it's Denise here, Nola Collectibles, and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a, do, 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 a thread up jewelry, DIY five pound jewelry unbagging. I am super excited. I haven't had a thread up box literally in like probably like six plus months because ever since they stopped taking jewelry, they just haven't had any in stock for the rescues. So on June 10th, a lot of boxes mysteriously appeared on the thread up rescues website and um so i was able to purchase two so that was really exciting and um i actually purchased a, a couple more like i don't know like three as opposed to two and they ended up canceling my order saying that they were placing a limit on the amount of boxes that you could order which i get because i think i had heard like someone apparently like cleared out their stock and purchased 60 boxes the last time they were back in stock and so you know that's not exactly fair but anyway here we are very very excited um, this box came from my local um, warehouse is Phoenix Arizona so this box came from Phoenix and it was not taped shut which is a little bit disturbing because it kind of did look like it possibly could have been tampered with but anyway um, there was no padding there was nothing in there box was just kind of like wide open and so here we are I'm just gonna open this puppy up and then we're just gonna go for it if you are new here welcome thanks for coming to my channel uh, this is basically what I do I do on bagging thread up shop goodwill goodwill blue box and my local thrift store I am a jewelry enthusiast. I'm a part-time um, reseller. I sell mainly on eBay, and uh, I've been collecting jewelry for as long as I can remember. I've worked at jewelry stores. I worked at Claire, the Beck Qualified, but I worked at a legit jewelry store too um, during my college days. So it's something that I've always kind of like been into. And for me personally, uh, you know, I'm an avid collector. So anyway, let's get right into it. Uh, here we have a kind of pair of those homemade rolled paper earrings uh, here on the card, handmade by Bertha. So there's actually some information here that this came from Latin America. So that's kind of um, interesting. So here we are, one of those rolled paper kind of pairs of earrings. There is this, this kind of big chunky blue colored necklace here and it has blue rhinestone and gunmetal little dangle right there and that guy looks like that you can see that's kind of like a gunmetal doesn't seem to have any kind of like maker or branding on it it feels very lightweight so we have that guy right there but it's in good condition I have this cute kind of like charm bracelet, vintage looking charm bracelet. It's got one little charm on it, which does look like maybe it could be sterling silver. It's like one of those like little boy silhouettes that um, you, were popular kind of like in the 60s. And this is actually a very pretty charm bracelet, silver tone. I can see here it's Monet. So it is a vintage charm bracelet by Monet. It's cute. It's got the little safety chain. Um, I like this a lot. It's in great condition. I probably would take off that charm and maybe start up a new charm bracelet or just sell it as is or I don't know we'll see but it's definitely very very cute I like that a lot and it's always surprising to get vintage items in thread up because I feel like you know it's always more well-known brands like you know like the J Crews and um, you know the Ann Kleins and that type of thing more contemporary brands so this is a really cute little blue enamel I love this it's like Tiffany blue Robin Eggs blue enamel floral stretch bracelet again looks brand new has the tag on it it says it retailed originally for $16 and it says Flower Street Tur color turquoise flower sheet but there's no like kind of branding on it but I think it's very very cute I like it a whole lot very very sweet nice I like that I like that it's new I have a watch in here and this one it is just it says gossip it is running and it's on this blue kind of like snakeskin band and um, has a mother of pearl fa watch face on it and so I know that this is kind of more of a less expensive brand there. So I think they sell this, you know, kind of like at icing stores. I have one of these woven 
woven kind of like pink um, braided seed bead necklaces with a clasp right here. And again, this is, um, you know, big kind of perfect for summer and has like um, gold tone kind of end caps to it and a little bit of a rhinestone detail. And this is very cute. Again, this doesn't seem to have any kind of brand on it, but I'm looking and it looks like it does have the original tag still on it. So this probably might likely have never even been worn. So that's cute. Again, no brand on that guy though. I have a silver tone and red kind of statement necklace here. Plastic, very lightweight, but overall in good condition. Statement necklace that looks like that. Again, this kind of feels similar to like the quality you would purchase at maybe like an icing store. I have this little um, bracelet on card. It's kind of like Shambhala style and it has the a lotus flower on there and a Buddha and it has its own by M.A.K. Creations, handmade jewelry from Greece. That's interesting, <laughs> especially because it's, um, you know, it's got a Buddha and a lotus and it's made in Greece. But, <laughs> but anyway, uh, that also appears to be brand new, unworn. And um, so yeah, I have that as well. I have this hinged bangle bracelet here. Little flower detail right there does appear to be sterling silver to me let's see it it seems it does seem to be magnetic so it's possible that the silver plated i'm not seeing anything on here that says if it would be a brand or if it there would be metal purity i'm not seeing like a 925 or anything usually with these types of bracelets some brands will put the branding right here like where the um, opening is magnetic so that's cute I mean it's very very cute I mean it's a little disappointing it does look like sterling silver but I guess it's not a little bit disappointing there's this like multi-strand purple necklace here and this one's just kind of like plastic seed beads and a little bit of a gold to it as well Jesus I'm really hoping to get some goodies here, you guys. I keep seeing everybody's like thread out boxes, boxes. Um, you know, I'm part of that Texas gal jewelry jewelry lovers group on Facebook. Everyone's like posting like the most amazing finds, John Hardy rings, and <laughs> all these like gorgeous, you know, high end finds. And I got like so far, we got a box full of plastic from Phoenix, Arizona. Anyway, I'm not complaining yet. I'm not complaining yet. My luck could change. Uh, similar to the red necklace, exact duplicate only in blue. So we have two of these kind of like plasticky looking um, necklaces here. I'm trying to go here for something that looks a little different. So could pony up something that I think looks different. So two of those necklaces. I did see this, so I grabbed this. This does look like a J. Crew necklace. Yeah, so nice heavy statement J. Crew necklace. It's got some rhinestone details here, green, topazy colored, um, antique gold finish, and that guy looks like that. So that's really cute. And as per usual, nice high quality J. Crew made, heavy, um, very, very nice. I like the green color with this kind of smoky topaz. It's almost like a coated. Gold, it has a gold coating and almost like a smoky topaz kind of look to it. So that's nice. Definitely, definitely nice. Definitely sellable. So I like that. And I grabbed this here because this is a little bit different as well. And this is a, it's upside down. I'm reading it. I'm like, Nioxin? <laughs> no, not Nioxin. Nixon. So Nixon makes really cute kind of, I would say they're like snowboard and skateboard kind of like, you know, um, cool watches like the men's watches are really nice they have big faces on them and it's a real contemporary brand and this one here you can see on the back this is so cute it just says oh it says boarding for breast cancer so what are the, whether that's snow probably snowboarding or something maybe they did some kind of breast cancer awareness campaign or a breast cancer funds driving campaign I don't know but this is super super cute I like it a lot I like Nixon watches they sell I would say sometimes they go up even to like 165 to 200 dollars and I'm just looking at the back there to see if that's 
a battery that I can replace and it looks like it's a screw back. So I say, yes, I can definitely replace that. So that'll be a real easy fix for me. Keeping with the pink theme, I have this cute pair of pink enamel and gold tone earrings and these ones are sugar fix. So those are really cute too. See my theme here, they go with the Nixon watch. Um, very cute, gold tone, look like they're in perfect condition. And so those are very adorable. I like those earrings a lot. Here's kind of like a brushed gold and faux turquoise uh, little dangle necklace here and very delicate, kind of got that hand hammered look to the gold beads and lobster claw clasp. No kind of like tag or anything on there, but that's very cute. Nice little layering piece. Trying to see where we go next here. So, you know, try to, they're, they're still, I guess people are still sending in jewelry and I think this is, wow, this has got like so much bonus hair on it. It is so gross, you guys. <laughs> and it's in not good condition, so. Glad they didn't sell this. <laughs> um, they're not selling them, but I guess people are still sell sending in jewelry like when they do their closet clean out. So anyway, this is just like acrylic, peach, jangle, multi-strand, and it's got so much bonus hair on it, not in very good condition. So, ick. That's all I got to say about that is ick. Um, so here we have what looks to be um, a carved bone, possibly a carved bone necklace here, almost like prayer bracelet style just looking at this to see if I see anything that I'm not too sure about this I think I would really have to take a closer look at it to see if you know with ivory you need to be careful uh, because you know the, the ban on ivory went into effect in 2008 so basically devaluated ivory across the market and so um, but when you find something that looks like ivory, it'll have what's called Schrager lines and it's kind of like a cross hatching on the ivory. Um, and that way you will know that it's elephant ivory. Uh, you know, bone does look similar with bone pieces. You'll see kind of like little specks of black in the bone. So that's kind of a way. So I'm unsure about this. It could very well even be plastic with plastic. Like it doesn't, to me, this is not sounding. But again, I will need to like really look at that under my loop to, to make a call on, uh, as to like what that is. So we've got this gold tone, little dangly circle necklace here. And this one I'm seeing the tag is Talbot's. So that's really cute. And I think a great little everyday wearable piece of jewelry for sure. I like that, it's in good condition. I have this very weird, don't know what it's made out of. Looks like some kind of tree bark, possibly seed bead. It's all kind of like tangled up onto itself. And um, yeah, so I don't think I will be recycling that guy. He may be going to retirement. He just doesn't look so great. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I have another gold tone necklace here, more bonus hair on it, great. Uh, so yeah, just gold tone with little um, black detailing there. Nice kind of like everyday um, wearable necklace there. I'll just have to be pulling off the hair. Uh, again, kind of like no tag on this here. I'm feeling a little disappointed right now. A little bit, a little bit. I don't want to act like a brat. I'm like disappointed. I'm not disappointed yet. We got a lot of jewelry to go here, folks. Um, okay, so this is like a black corded necklace here, and this is very cool. It's got these gold two beads kind of woven in there, and it creates like almost like a little bit of a chandelier like statement effect there. That's very pretty. I do like this one a whole lot. Looks like you can slide this down a little bit. Very, very cute. I think that's a good looking necklace. It feels very nice, like smooth, and e it would be very easy to wear. That guy looks like that, but again, I'm not seeing any kind of brand or anything on there. I have another woven seed bead necklace here. This one more neutral colored, has peaches and whites and gold. Again, kind of like gold tone end caps there at the end. 
that guy is looking like that. I have a little bit of tangles here. Let's see. Let's figure this out. What? I have a broken necklace. I was trying to figure out what's going on with this necklace here. I have a broken necklace. It is Ann Taylor Loft. And it should be a rhinestone multi-strand. But um, this one strand here, it's three strands. One strand is broken. So this like smoky colored one here, you could see. Um, I would say if it was like a jump, re jump ring situation, that would be easy, easily fixable. But it looks like the little bracket there is broken that connects this with that so that's a bummer because it's cute looks like it would have been cute look like it would have been like high quality it's you can see it's like very very sparkly so that's kind of sad a little broken and taylor loft piece i have one of these like wrap watches here there is no maker on the face and so, yeah, that just kind of looks like a little bit of like a cheapy. I have this gunmetal and crystal necklace, statement necklace here. That guy looks like that. Again, I'm not seeing any kind of like brand on it. I'm just trying to kind of go through this and see what we've got. make sure okay yeah i also have another of these hand hammered looking this is like a silver tone disc bracelets here this to me does look very chico's I'm not seeing anything on there but again this to me calls out as very very chico's to me uh, it's in good condition though so looks like it's an unworn condition i would say I have another broken statement necklace here. And this one would have been um, ink. So Macy's ink, you can see it's missing several crystals. Oh, I see, I think I see one, that one. Seeing if I see anything else here. I don't know that I am. We shall see. But yes, so broken Macy's ink crystal this one is a, more of like a jump ring. It just needs a jump ring right here. So that's a little bit more repairable. But if I don't have the crystals, oh, I just spotted another one. Let's see. A lot of missing crystals here, though. So that's two. And then you can see I'm missing these two as well. I will see if they turn up. But yeah, so Macy's Ink Statement Crystal Necklace. A um, little bit banged up for sure. I have this seed bead and acrylic plastic beaded necklace here. And that guy is pretty simple. Not, I don't think too much to be said about that. I have this, which looks like, this actually looks like vintage, possibly jade. It is carved jade and maybe mother of pearl. And this also could be ivory so carved closure there again I'm looking to see if I do see hmm, I do see Schrager lines so um right there on the back of this clasp I am seeing Schrager lines so um difficult to see I'm trying to see if I can get in there for yep there you go you can kind of see there's like a little bit of a cross hatching that occurs there with the texture um, so that definitely is ivory. I think it's so odd that there's ivory in here. And then this is likely jade. You can see it's a carved jade. It, the jade is very beautiful. Um, the beads are very large. It is a very pretty necklace. The jade is outstanding. The mother of pearl is really beautiful. This clasp is even very cool. But again, I guess that's why it ended up kind of like in a thread up. Is because you can't, you just can't sell jade. Like unless you have documentation that it is um, pre-banned jade, then it's illegal to buy and sell the jade. So again, the law that they passed kind of deregulated the market, devalued everything, so that you know it doesn't even make sense for you to try to sell. So that's kind of like where we're at there. 
interesting that that's in there. Um, here again, I have, um, this is a little carved elephant. He's very cute. Very, very cute. He could be possibly, he looks like rose quartz to me. Let me see. Try to see what else we have here. Some tangles. I have big cho choker statement choker. He's very cute. So I like him a whole lot. Looks like a carved rose quartz. Could have like a little gold bail on it. I'll have to like look at that a little bit more. And then here I have a gold tone choker. It's got a rhinestone detail. It's um, pretty out of shape. <laughs> it's a little bit deformed. So that is like that. Then here I have a plastic acrylic green multi-strand necklace there. And this one again, also plastic, but that's cute looking. I like the look of it. And we're getting basically to the bottom here. I'm gonna grab this. This is a watch. Looks very short. Looks like a lot of links were taken out of it. And this one doesn't have any kind of brand on it either. So one of these kind of like cheapy brandless watches uh, that they sell again at like icing or something. Then I have a couple of like dirty tassel, dirty tassel earrings here that are looking kind of gnarly for sure. Not really into that at all. <laughs> and so yeah, we have those. Here we have a, a really cute pair of blue matching earrings. This matches that sweet little bracelet in the beginning that we saw. Let me grab it, this guy. So we have a cute little set of, uh, you know, Tiffany blue earrings and a bracelet. Very, very cute. I like those two a lot. So that's a cute little set. Then I have this plasticky kind of like beaded necklace here. Got neutral tones and a little pendant in the middle. And this one is looking like Worthington, I want to say it says. Which I think is like a brand maybe that sold at Macy's. So I have that little necklace also. A little tangle going on here. I don't know if you guys happen to notice, but um, I actually just reached my thousand subscriber milestone, which is very exciting. So, um, you know, I had done a little bit of Margaret Texas Gal Treasures. She had done um, like a speed dating video and um, asked for people to provide one minute submissions of an overview of your channel. So I went ahead and added that video so you can see it too on my channel. It was like a really quick, literally one minute, like I said. And um, super cute and she compiled them all together if you haven't seen it yet go check it out on her channel it's really fun and you might find some like new folks to to follow and to watch on YouTube I know I've got my fill so this is very cute and this is just kind of like a blue stone not really sure what it is and a faux pearl this is on I think sterling silver right there um, it is looking um, definitely looking homemade I think but some nice components there, sterling silver components. I like those little um, beads in between. And so I have that. There's a pair of earrings with a bracelet attached to it. This guy, I'm looking at it, this is looking like a Brighton. So this is really cute. A little Brighton bracelet. Looks to be in brand new condition. Nice smooth little wheat chain. And so that's really nice. That's a great little fine little Brighton bracelet. In great condition. It looks brand new. And then a silver tone pair of hoop earrings. Those guys were hooked, hooked onto that. And then we're kind of again like to the nitty gritty here to, to the end. I have a pair of little heart earrings. This one is looking like Sugar Fix. So more Sugar Fix earrings. Those are really cute. These pair of gold. Let's see if there's any matches on these. Yep. Got a match on that. These guys I've seen quite a bit. That's kind of like generic mall jewelry type. I am seeing this. This is looking interesting. Let's push all of those guys aside. This looks like a Native American necklace. Nice, big, beautiful, chunky turquoise. Does look like authentic turquoise to me. There's like a lot of nice matri matrixing on these stones. I'm seeing the hishi, which is um, kind of like a hand made shell. They take shell and they make them into these tiny little discs. 
and um, the Pueblo that makes this is Santo Domingo. Uh, they're very known for their hishi style jewelry. I don't know that this is uh, directly is Santo Domingo, but I'm taking my best guess because like I said, there's a lot of uh, hishi jewelry that comes from the Santo Domingo Pueblo. Um, so this is very beautiful. The turquoise is stunning. Um, I'm gonna show you up close. It's really nice looking. Again, there's kind of like a, a, a lot of nice matrixing there. And so in between some nice hishi shell, very long, really nice looking. That's a nice piece. Okay. That makes me happy. That's exciting. And that's definitely like different. Love that. That's unexpected. Almost as unexpected as the jade piece. <laughs> I'm seeing like a big clunky like pair of earrings here. Silver tone look like natural stones. Oh, I thought it might be silver, but they are not. But these are definitely cute as well. They feel very quality. They feel nicely made. Um, they've got like a little bit of gemstone detail there. Faceted little round and nice smooth looking drops green. So those are actually, I think those are really nice looking earrings. I have this cute little fashion ring right here gold tone brushed gold tone very cute that guy's looking like that it's got like a little like rhinestone detail in the middle it feels very well made but i'm not totally sure but i don't see any name on there but it feels very well made what else here i have this woven pearl bracelet and another one, these little rice pearls. These were sometimes made out of gold. Do have gold findings? They're popular in the 80s. That's likely um, attracted to the spring mechanism. I'll have to look at those guys a little bit further. But yes, two little like rice pearl bracelets. Very sweet. That there in the bottom. And so I'm getting right here to the bottom of this bag. Only a few items left. Um, this is a Roxy kind of mall brand, surfer girl, skater girl style clothing, and that's a Roxy brand watch there. I have this little, you know, on leather copper kind of tube looking necklace, and that guy is like looking like that. I have some singles. I'm seeing single earrings here. Okay, there's a couple of things hiding in the bottom. I am seeing this ring right here. This is looking very interesting to me. And so this looks vintage. This looks like gold, not magnetic. Has a very interesting kind of cut to it. Not sure what that stone is. Hmm. That's beautiful. And so let me look real quick under my loop. I'm listening to you guys though. I don't wanna have blank screen. So I'm just gonna finish out with a couple of the items here that were at the bottom of the bag. I have this, what looks like kinda of Labradorite. There's this little chain right here. I'm gonna take this ring and look at it a little bit closer and we can zoom in on what we've got left. And so looking at this ring and this says on the inside, 14 karat gold, and it's a Strel. So the brand is Strel. I'm not sure what brand that is. It's very, it's it's a smaller sized ring. I would say it's maybe like a size five or so, but that's gorgeous. The cut on that stone is insane. You can see it's like very faceted, um, lots of facets, nice of long facets. Um, now with these type of cuts, uh, similar to like, I'd say like, a, you know, a marquee cut on a diamond, they require a lot of rough um, because it is a pretty inter intricate cut. So I would call this definitely like a fancy cut on this ring. So this is exciting at the bottom of the bag, a 14 karat gold ring and a very interesting shape stone, faceted stone, cut stone right there. And so that said Strel and it said 14 karat gold. And so that's what we got there at the bottom of the bag, a 14 karat gold ring. And I'm going to say that this is definitely vintage. Um, not seeing this at current jewelry stores by any means, guys. And that stone, I definitely need to research, but it's looking like I have a ring my mom had given me 
many years ago. It looks like a very similar stone to that. My mother likely would have bought that ring in the late 50s or early 60s, I would say. So definitely looking possibly at like a mid-century um, maker. So yay, very, very excited by that. That's exciting, you guys. Gorgeous, nice surprise at the bottom of the bag. And so what do we have here? This Okay, this is just like a little costume jewelry Monet necklace. Very delicate, like a little heart kind of um, dangle there. This little dude over here. So this is just like a little Monet necklace. I have this pendant here. This is also looking like sterling silver. Very modernist in design. And the back is looking like that. And again, I'm going to put back, probably start to populate some of my favorites because there's really not a whole lot left. So I'm going to start to do that so we can look at all of the fancy lovelies. So yeah, some sleeper little items here um, in this bag that I definitely was not expecting towards the end, which is super exciting. These items right here, the turquoise hishi and the jade, I'm looking at this pin a little bit closer because it looks like it is signed and it says um robin nichols sterling so this is a sterling silver um piece of jewelry it looks like it can be worn as a pendant it has like a little movable component there and it has another bail on this end so you could probably wear it like this like long on your necklace or you could probably wear it east to west which is i think gorgeous right like to have this beautiful artist made sterling silver piece go east to west on a thin chain I think that would be stunning and it has like this very delicate like almost looks like ginkgo biloba leaves and so that's very interesting as well so I will like definitely need to Robin Nichols I will need to research that Strel I will need to research this um but those are some fantastic pieces those are my favorites right there I also like this Nixon watch I think the Nixon watch is a ton of fun I'm very into it. I like the coloration of it. I did like the J. Crew necklace too. I thought that that was a really nice quality made um, J. Crew piece too. We'll put that guy right there. I've got a little bit of a theme here, mostly blues and greens and a little bit of pink, right? Um, I did like this kind of like Tiffany blue um, ring the uh, bracelet there with the matching earrings. I think that's super cute. Um, these little like rice pearl bracelets I'll need to look at just to see if they might be gold They're, they very well maybe I did like I did like this I'm disappointed it's not sterling silver but it's a very cute bracelet and then the other bracelet was this Bryson Brighton bracelet which looks brand new to me so this little Brighton bracelet here so yes I had to I feel like we had to go through a lot of kind of crap in that bag to find the jewels but there are some really fabulous pieces here so this is fantastic. I am so not disappointed. I have homework to do. I have to research these pieces here, this, this, the jade and the turquoise. Um, I need to replace the battery in the Nixon watch. But I think overall, you guys, very happy with this thread up box. Um, very, very surprising. Beautiful pieces in it towards the end. Let me know what your faves are. Let me know if you have any thoughts on any of this. I always appreciate your help. And as per usual, I so appreciate you tuning in. So thanks for being here. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. And give me a like on the way out. So I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.